Hello, I'm Priscilla Battelle, and this is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio, and that is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. This is some Sherwin-Williams white paint. And I'm going to try and do things a little differently than usual. I'm going to put a layer of paint all over my canvas to the best of my ability. Because I'm thinking that it may work for me better than what just happened where I had an uneven layer of paint on one end. This is my OXO Omelet Turning Flip and Fold Spatula. It's from Good Grips. It's the best paint spreading tool I know of. If there were any foreign objects like that one in the paint, I would be able to see them. I spread paint on my canvas before I put my pillow down when I'm doing scoop and drags, spin blooms, whatever you want to call them so that the paint that I put down after the pillow will will flow <laughs> flow off more easily. So that's a pretty even layer. And I'm not sure how this next part is going to go, but we're going to give it a shot. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to put some paint right in my pan. And take my new cell activator and some colors. Let's just let's put some royal sapphire, and some fandango. A little bit of wintergreen. Maybe. Yep, there it is. It's on my finger. and some wild orchid, all the same colors. Well, not all <coughs> similar colors to what I'm going to put in. Now let's grab my new cell activator, which is really nice and thick. Fresh Australian Floatrol you can find on Pixel Paint Designs, 10% off coupon code. Usually I use this with white. This time I decided to just go for the black. So we'll see how that works. Throw that card in the bucket. Stretch it out a little bit. Didn't get as much purple as I'd like, but in any case, that's my potential. I'm hoping to move the paint that I put on this pillow up toward the top. And I'm trying to figure out how to make sure that I have enough paint up there. And I'm thinking that maybe if I very gently pull some of it that way. That it couldn't hurt. Not too worried about the bottom. And I think the lines of demarcation will fade. I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket. Try and get, yeah, there's my, my slum, somewhat plugged Indian spice. Oh, the cells in the dish have turned out really beautiful. Wow. I'm loving. Check that out. That's amazing. Very cool. And we'll, if all goes well, we'll be using those. I really like the prison pour Indian spice at the bottom, underneath things, even to the point of showing through. So I used Royal Sapphire. Another prism pour. And I've got some sparkling aqua, primary element. I thought about doing this in all the just greens. And I may do that at some point in time. This is 
Fandango. I would not usually do even numbers, but I don't think it matters. I've got some tempting tulip, which I may come back and hit it hit again. Occurs to me I put no orange in here, but I do have some golden product, Quinacridone Quinacrido Nickel Azo Gold. Which goes well with everything, I think. This is Rhapsody Rose. Trying to get my bottles out of the way right now. This is the Wild Orchid. Love Wild Orchid. And then the Indigo Violet is a Prism Pour. Wild Orchid is also. That's not coming out very easily. Must be time to clean the tip. I cleaned a bunch of tips today, but that, evidently this one didn't get the full treatment. Out, out you come. All right, I said I might put some more tempting tulip in there, but I think what I want to do instead is do some jasmine, and that's a primary element. I still, I'm still wanting a little drop of orange, but instead of the orange, I'm just going to use some of this sour lemon that has a little bit of orange in it. All right, so the last time I did this, my swipe card was actually one of my little acetate tools. And I've got a couple of choices. I'm kind of wondering about that. I've got a lid that I cut the, the rim off one side. I think I'm going to use that. I've got another swipe card that's it's maybe too big for this piece. Put a bunch on, blow it right out to the edge, and join it with some Amsterdam white, both in Aussie Flow Trail, Amsterdam black and white. Let's see if I can do this in one. my extra and put it over in the end and throw that in the bucket and I'm going to let these tip up probably as well as down I'm not going to mind if they get a little misshapen Glad I did the greens. I have another palette knife, a bigger one. I think I want to do this with. some paint on the end that didn't get much affected but it'll go over the edge nicely. I think I'm going to play with the rest of this before I put any more on. Break the seal. Can't really go past that pillow because the pillow is going to be expanding outwards. Don't want to drip. I don't really want to move any of that. It's all so cool. All right, I'll just... Sometime I'm going to put flowers on the end of these. The 
the cells are so pretty I don't think I need to do anything but I know what happens when I spin and drag still want to tip a little bit more sorry about my head <laughs> kind of figure if I move the pillow down then I can move more of the base let's go back and put some more of this in never done exactly this before so this is kind of exciting but I do keep dripping off that side and I'm not sure I want to those are cool kind of want to start halfway up but I'm not sure how that's gonna look I'll give it a shot anyway Like I might have some paint left over. Go back to this. Got to break the seal. You pull up. How much further do I want to go? Not a lot. I've already got something strange here, so I'll just add a little more. And drag it down. Yeah, composition's getting really interesting. something right here. I just dribbled the whole length of that. Well that's pretty interesting. I think I'm done. It's a little sooner than I was anticipating, but that's okay. Let me grab a skewer. Wow, that one's got an uneven end on it. That's unusual. So I found that I like dragging down as well as up. And I like stealing a little paint. spirals in place. Yeah, I need a different skewer. That one's got a weird end on it. Oh, I got a bubble. And my head in the camera. A little spiral in there. Steal some paint. I don't think I need to steal a lot of paint. I like the idea of putting some leaves on this. I want that purple paint. <laughs> I 
Okay, it's time to spin out. Not sure what I'm going to do with my pretty leftover paint. Probably put it into a dish. Get everything out of the way. Close my paint up. This is my last painting for the night. Oh, I see I've got a little issue right there. But that's okay, because I've got paint dripping down. Nothing to keep me from using it. Right on time. All right, so if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Cross your fingers, we're gonna spin now. Actually, before we spin, I'm gonna turn it to the crossbar. Make sure it's dead center as best I can. That looks pretty good. Expect this to stretch better than my last one. Oh yeah, and it's going to. I'm excited. <laughs> Smoothing the paint out may have helped. I may still have to put a spatula in there. And my little acetate tools, if I don't include the um, tutorial video, let me know that you need that or you can just look it up. What am I going to do with that strange... I need a skewer. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I think I'm going to... make it into something a little more noteworthy, I guess. A weird white flower. Why not? It's cool. It's alien. It's strange. It's cool. Let's do one more spin. Oh, wow. Should I? Maybe not. <laughs> I guess not. All right. So I love you guys. I'm going to shimmer that at you or throw it at you, one or the other. I've got some paint on my fingers and I need to grab my phone to shimmer that at you. So I'm going to take a second to get the water off my hands. So I love you. Thank you for stopping. I hope you come again. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to my new members. I really appreciate you guys. There's over 110 dedicated to members only videos in the members library and probably more by now. I like how weird the top is. The, the shape's just stretched out really cool. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. I post pretty much every day. Uh, that may change. It seems like I'm not helping myself by doing so. Anyway, please share my videos in any case. Th thank you for the thumbs up. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Should you want to reach me, I do sell my artwork. I'm putting a spiral in there. And I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And I keep... And I got... One minute to tell you, uh, check my link tree. And right near my link tree, look for the 20% off color art coupon code and the 10% off pixel paint design code for Aussie Floetrol, Pebeo paints, and Boom Gels, which I didn't use today, but I will soon. Anyway, I love this, and I love you guys. I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's nothing. Whatever I've forgotten, you'll see in another video. <laughs> On the link tree, you're going to find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group, and uh, Society6, Le Gallerist, Pixels.com, Fine Art America. Under the video, you're going to find Spring Clothing. You can have any of my designs recreated in those one of those places on any of those things if you just ask me. Um, my Amazon link has two books on it because I can in unlimited possibilities and their first and second hundred videos I made for YouTube tutorials about fluid art and they're still relevant. Thank you guys for your kind words and your comments of encouragement. I really appreciate you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. I love you much. Priscilla out.